Mackey Arena had a change of color yesterday afternoon as Illinois State fans flooded into the second round matchup of the WNIT in West Lafayette. Our fans were great. They responded. Um, the fans that make trips like this uh, at this point in the season are just diehards. In the first half, you would have never thought that Nicole Lewis would end up being the Redbirds saving grace. Purdue attacked low on defense, shutting down the 6'6 senior, leaving the perimeter game wide open for ISU sharpshooting. She's got a nice touch around the basket. Uh, she's got nice range on her shot. She plays with a lot of poise. She doesn't seem to get rattled much. The Boilermakers came out physical, trying to shut down the Redbirds' play at the boards. But fouls put Lewis at the line, where she stunned the opposition, going 9 for 10 on free throws. There's kind of like that stereotype where if you're taller, you're not always as productive at the free throw line. And I think uh, for me, it's never been like that. I just feel like I've always really been comfortable. 17 of her 21 points came in the second half where her defense shined just as bright as her offense. Defense and rebounding is going to win you games, and, and if you're going to play good defense, you've got to bring a lot of energy. Purdue made a late run in the second half, but Lewis capped off the final as the Redbirds ended the Boilermakers season 59-57. <laughs> The strong ISU fan base here at Keedy Court, ISU almost felt like they had a sixth man here at Mackey Arena. Able to fight through a tough defense, they were able to pull out the victory over Purdue. For TV10 Sports, I'm Kyle Hevron.